part of my interest in your work is when you play an obsequious, <laughs> manipulative character, which you do so well. <laughs> <laughs> no, truly. Um, <laughs> in your looking for the core of that character, of that person, where do you go to find the fine-tuning? I've never seen you obsequious. Um, uh, I, uh, everything comes from the writing to me. And, uh, you know, good writing, as you read a, a really good script, has got images and pictures dancing around on it. And if the character kind of speaks to you on any level at all, you just want to grab hold of those pictures that you already start to see. So in that sense, it's a very instinctive thing. It's not rational at all. And as an acting sort of instrument, your, your body has a lot to do with it too. And, uh, and the battle is always to get your head and body together and make them have it the same character. Um, so yeah, you choose. The head says, I choose to do this. And then you start to function as an actor, which at this point in time is some weird mix. It's a bit like making wine. Uh, a weird mix of instinct and discipline, I suppose. I'm not sure where the blur is, but the last thing you can ever do in that process is use words like obsequious or, or even charming or honorable or uh, whatever words you want to apply that describe the character you're playing, none of them are of any use to the actor. Because you can't judge the character you're playing, that's up to you, you'll come up with these words. <laughs> I have no clue, I'm just um, playing this person who uh, operates within a certain perimeter of thinking and feeling and walking and running and sitting or whatever, and relating to other people, and wants certain things. And then you just figure out, you, you gradually kind of fashion a costume in a way, and then eventually you put it on and wear it. Does that make sense? 